I don't even know at this point that I have to say anything. Because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> y'all know what day it is. Today is Friday. Finally, Friday. The very best day of the week. Because, there he is. Y'all ready? Let's do this. Still got the green toolbox in here. I figured that thing would have been gone. I got another one that's interested in it. He, uh, he's having a talk with his wife on it. Him and his, I ain't sure how well that's gonna go because they're having a little uh, marriage issues. So, well, if they're already well, having marriage issues, I'm just gonna tell I, him just go ahead and that's do what it. Either to make it better or make it worse, one or the well, other. It'll it'll fix it or. Or finalize it. One yeah. of the two. It'll finish the problem. <laughs> one <with> the other. <laughs> so that's your marriage advice for somebody that's kind of. It's about a snap on toolbox. It'll fix it for you. <laughs> It'll finish the problem off one way or the other. Either she, you come home and she'd be like, that's so damn sexy, turn me on. Or she'd be like, get your <laughs> shit and get the hell out. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe we need to put a disclaimer if they really don't try this. <laughs> One or the other. It, it caused one of them to happen, though. Yeah. Well, I see you got somebody Santa Claus present back here. Yeah, that's, that's a little cool like, right there. Custom kids tool set. Pretty neat. Yep. That is cool right there. That'd be some little boy. Happy to get that on Christmas morning. Yeah. Well, yeah. So a few of them. Didn't know Santa Claus presents come on a snap-on truck, did he? You can't never tell where they don't show up at. <laughs> yeah, we saw a few of them things. They're pretty neat. Okay. Got a barbecue set. I was going through finding some of the old stuff in the shop. That was one of them things. I'm trying to clean out my shop a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of cool stuff when they put on here to get going. Right now, the Christmas time be the time to do it, too. Yep. You must have a sale on them big torch sets. Yeah, I got. Uh, well, according to Hamilton, everything's, everything's on, on sale, sale every day, every day, all the time. <laughs> got it's all the Black Friday, even if it's Monday. Yes. <laughs> That's what uh, I got. A new guy that came in at Morgan Van Lines down here, and he he came on here two weeks ago. He's like, "What all you got on sale?" And the other guy, he's like. It's all on sale. Don't worry about it, dude. Everything he's, but yeah. the truck. <laughs> he's, that's what they said. It's all on sale. He said he's a hook you up on everything. It don't matter what it is. That's it. Well, no, yo. he seemed like he's a pretty good dude, though. That's cool. Always helps to have new good customers. Yeah, no doubt. Got plenty of ratchets in. We got even One more. Whatever color. We can got a bunch of them down here, too. Ratchets galore. See, I didn't answer them. They called you. Probably so. <laughs> they must not know we shoot videos on Friday. <laughs> What's know, wrong? What wrong that, with these folks? Oh, that's the phone. Like, you know, I'm busy. <laughs> Man, we shooting a we shooting a video. What's wrong with yeah. you? So we got stuff to do. Yeah. Well, how's your week been this week? It's been a week. I'm glad it's Friday. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but as you know, everybody else don't know already, but. My truck broke down about 10 Monday morning. Didn't get back going until literally 10 Tuesday night. Then I had a two hour ride home. You can thank Al Gore for all of your truck troubles. Yeah. In California. Yeah. Just look right there and tell everybody in California you appreciate their, their yeah. laws. <laughs> we love this new deaf stuff. Bunch of damn liberals. You see where California, now they're looking back at wanting to do away with death because it killed a couple snails or something like that. Some endangered species snail. I don't even know if there's any snails Well, I'm actually looking forward to the California crowd making New York quit doing the Christmas tree because, you know, this is the second year in a row they've put the tree up in Rockefeller Center and there's an owl been <laughs> misplaced now because of that. So yeah. They'll probably have a... A fake tree up in these trees. Yeah. Good old death problems, thanks to the Californians. Yep. 
That's Al Gore in California right there. And what's bad is I know a lot of people watch our channel that's from California. Yeah, I got I a hate couple. It. God, they hate it, you know, all their stupid regulations. Then I got some people in Texas, and it was kind of funny. Like, after the election, they was talking about some people they knew in California saw it moving to Texas, and they're like, come on, but leave them stupid California beliefs at the border. We, you we do right. things a little different down here, you yeah. know. So, yeah, it's just... pretty good. It's funny, like I had one guy from California, young kid, which you know him, he, uh, he texted me about what I was doing the gun giveaway and stuff, had it on the truck. So I'm like, mm -hmm. how y'all do that? What about getting it registered? Like, look, we live in Mississippi. Yeah. We ain't, you buy yeah. guns at a grocery store in Mississippi. Yeah. I mean, we trade on them on a daily basis around here. <laughs> and it's a gift. He's talking about in California, even though it's a gift, you still got to go and have it registered and all that other stuff. I said, churches do gun giveaways around mm -hmm. here all the time. We do things a little different down here. And everybody that lives here is perfectly fine with that. It's the people that move in from here, from other towns. As they get shocked by... You know, they're like, I don't, I don't really agree with that one. Go back to where you come yeah, from. Don't come here changing this stuff. Things are, things are moving along fine here. Yeah, who was... I was trying to tell somebody that my daughter's school, their softball team through the high school was doing a shotgun giveaway. Mm -hmm. They're like, the school is? Like, yeah. Because yeah. they know it's going to generate a lot of money, so... Yeah, people in Mississippi, they don't have problems spending money on tobacco, liquor, beer, guns, and bullets. Yeah. Like, that's just the thing here. Like, they may wear Wrangler blue jeans, but they've got a $700 rifle sitting in the seat. Yeah, and probably <laughs> a thousand miles worth of ammo at the yeah. house hid in the closet. They have no problem spending money on tobacco, beer, and liquor, and guns here. That's... <laughs> There's probably more guns in Mississippi than there are in most states, you know. Yeah. Because most kids by their eight year old here has got at least a twenty two rifle and a four ten shotgun and age eight. Well like well, yeah, we shoot guns a lot. Me and my wife, my son, my daughter, we all shoot guns a lot. And a lot of people flip out, like my wife's aunt, which I mean they live up they live in Marietta. they you don't get no more country than Marietta is, you yeah. know. And uh but she's shocked that my son has a gun cabinet in his room. I'm like, what's he doing with them guns? Like, I guess shoot him when he gets ready, you know? Mm -hmm. And he got six of his own in there. I ain't got room for my mine. I got mine stashed in every corner in the house, and the safe is full. <laughs> Both of them is full. Yeah. But if yeah. you had any on the sale, I'd be interested in buying, though. There you go. Man, you can't never have too many guns. No. So you can't find the ammo for them. But I can tell you, if the government ever starts that coming around looking for them. I ain't got none. I sold all yeah. mine. I heard y'all was coming. I done sold them. I seen a uh, video or something. Somebody sent me the other day that says, y'all, he said, my truck got broke into at the store. It's like, really, what'd they get? All my guns. I had every, I was on carry all my every guns. Every gun I had. Ain't going to turn them in. into the government. He said, but stop at the store and get gas, went in and use the restroom, and come back out. And somebody stole every one of my guns. <laughs> every one of them's gone. <laughs> That's like right. every single one. He said, every single one of them, I ain't got one no more. Terrible. Terrible thing. <laughs> it will be a, just a, a god-awful fight if the government ever tries to take guns away. Yeah. Them. I don't know if they'd ever, I don't, know, I don't think they'd be brave enough to do something like that. I think it'd get a lot worse yeah, doing that. It'd be bad. It'd be sad for sure. But here, you know, hunting's a rite of passage. It really is. Like, every daddy wants their son to kill their first buck by their 10. Yeah. You know? And it's a pride thing here. You yeah. Know? It's, even if it's a doe, it's still a pride thing. Yeah. I, I mean, we talked about it last week. My son hunts every day. He gets off the. He gets at the house at. Now they're the COVID. They get home real early. He's like at home at two thirty-five, two forty, and that's after being on the bus for an hour. You know. Uh, he's still got a good two and, and a half hours to hunt. Yeah, he's in the woods by three, ready oh. to go, and he. Uh, he sent me a message like, hey, hey, I'm heading out to the woods, which he knows. It. And his guns can't be loaded in the house. And none of his is loaded. He has to pull the shells of all of his before he even comes in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, while he's climbing up the stand, he has to unload it. Unload it also. That's what I'm like, even though if you do just pull the bolt back and just let the bolt hang out, yep. then that's good enough for me. That's a good, that's a good and, rule uh, to have, though. That's what he does. And he told me, he's all right, I'm in the stand. I said, all right. And he got him one already. Mm -hmm. So he's ready for tomorrow is our opening day rifle season, so he's ready. Maybe he'll get him one tomorrow. I hope so. Be a good day. That's what I told my wife. I ain't even have to shoot one no more. If I, I keep know taking him. you're probably like me. You've killed enough deer that 
it's still fun to kill them. Yeah. And you enjoy killing them. But I enjoy my son doing it more yep. than than doing it myself. That's you know, usually like, when they... That adrenaline rush is, there's nothing like it. Yep. We need like four or five deer a year by how much deer. Because we eat a lot of deer meat. Mm -hmm. And then uh, to make it through the whole year. Uh, last year, I didn't shoot none. He shot one, but I had plenty from the year before. That's what I told him. I said, this year, I so said, we, we're almost out until that one he got. So yeah. we need at least five minimum this year, you know. Well, he got one, and I, it was a smaller one, so I told him now we need four and a half. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure and, uh, he ain't got no problem with that. No, nah, he's, like, he's I shoot him. He's, yeah. I shoot whatever. I said, well, I told him he can get one more little one, and then after that, then we're going to bigger does or stuff or bucks or something, yeah. but. He's well, ready, it's hard so. to beat that fresh tenderloin, man. Yeah. Especially with some jalapenos and some... Cream cheese and bacon. Bacon, boy. And make a little vultures. <laughs> Making me hungry. We just got done eating lunch. Life don't get no better <laughs> than that, does it? My in-laws, they they used to hate deer meat, you know? A lot of people like, I hate deer meat and stuff. Well, I did some tenderloin like that, and I told them we were doing steaks. I'm like, mm -hmm. hey, we're doing these steaks like this with... And uh, they came up, both of them, I mean, they like, they loved it. Like, that is awesome. I was like, I didn't know y'all liked deer meat. Oh, well, we don't. I was like, y'all just That's what it ate was. every bit of we had, you know. <laughs> yeah. And now when we go hunting, and my uh, mother-in-law, she called me, like, she called me tomorrow, like, y'all get anything? Yeah, yeah. she's ready for some more, ain't she? <laughs> yeah. That's true. We may have to do, like, a limited edition special cooking show with Hamilton, like, hey, how we to cook prepare... It up. Like we might have to blur out a bunch of beer bottles because I don't know how There'd they be. like beer drinking on there, but <laughs> <laughs> we could do a, a a special Hamilton how to cook deer meat edition. You like I'm game for that. Like I'll sample all day. Hey, we uh tried to use different deer prices up here where I took my son's to the other day, and then his hamburger meat or deer burger you can get it as regular, or, or you can get it beef with. Fat. Or, or yeah, I always get the beef fat yeah, put in it because it's good. Yeah, but they also do it with jalapenos and cheese in in the in the meat in the deer burger Ooh, now. Oh, that'd be good. I was like, yeah, let's do it that way. You know? <laughs> yeah, that would be on point right there. And uh, I'm gonna get him to. He said they got some good summer sausage too. So the next one I'm gonna get to turn that on. Summer, summer sausage made out of deer is about the that's about the cream of the crop right there. I had the first one I had done at uh, Dry Creek was awesome. I had one done at Tremont. And I wouldn't even feed that stuff to my dogs. That's a, oh. it, it pissed me off. I ruined a good deer on that. But everybody else says this guy's got some of the best over here. So the next one, you got to have a certain amount or he won't do it. Yeah. He still don't charge you the X amount. Mm -hmm. So don't, next time we get a bigger deer, I'm going to get him to do that one. Cool. That'd be good. I have to bring some of that to you. I'll eat it. Man, you can tell by looking at me, I don't turn down much food. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> The way I look at it, my daddy taught me when I was really young, and here's a very important life lesson for you guys. Like if your wife says, baby, you need to lose a little weight. This is how you need to look at that. Because my dad taught me this early. Fat people get sick and lose weight. Skinny people, they get sick and die. Yep. So, I mean, it's the insurance policy. That's the way you got to look at it. That's why I look at it a little bit different than that, but I agree with you a thousand percent. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I always was told, I mean... In Mississippi, sun gets hot. I mean, it gets high and it ruins everything. So you gotta put everything in the shed. There's just no tool shed. All it is, you know. There you go. <laughs> keep it, keep it from rusting. Yeah, everything else can stay has to stay kept in the shed at night time. So you gotta keep the tool shed. That's it. Well, you got anything else new besides the, the little play set? Ah, uh, now I got a couple of uh, boxes and stuff this week. I ain't even been through none of them. With working on this damn junky truck all week long. Uh oh. Be glad it ain't a power stroke. It's been down a lot longer than that. Well, the bad part is I had to go to uh, broke down in Russellville, so it was two hours from the house. Then uh, Tuesday morning, I had to go to Muscle Shoals to get one part, put it on there, didn't fix it. Another thing went wrong. Mm -hmm. Come out of cheap load, get another part. Of course, that's two hours from each direction, you know. Should have just been broke down here. Yeah, that's what. You could have sat and drank beer. Well, we got your truck fixed. That's what I would have done, too. And you'd have been home at like 2 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> the worst part is, even after it's all the way done, then I'd sit there and let it regen for yeah. two hours. I think the, I let it regen an hour the first time, and I shut it off. I was like, that's surely long enough. I mean, all, all the numbers was good. 
Exhaust was like at 1,300 finish. degrees. Now, got online, they said drive it for like two and a half miles. So that's a 20 minute drive at five minutes, you know, or five miles an hour. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> called Tag back and they was like, oh, I got to read you in the whole way. And if that don't fix it, you don't have to have it towed to us and we can shut it off. Mm -hmm. So two hours and 27 minutes later, 1,550 degree exhaust temp, it finally kicked off. Yep. I about think we're the only mechanic shop that offers free beer while in the waiting area. Yeah. I don't want my guys to be thirsty. That's bad. Be thirsty. Yeah. Dehydrated. Can't do that, man. It's too hot in Mississippi. Get sick and die. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. That place that's pretty cool. Somebody needs to order that for their little boy. Yeah. So that's the last one I got left. Then went through all the other ones. That's cool. It is pretty neat. A lot of goodies in there. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, it's the easiest thing you can do. Just click it. Take your finger. Click that button right there. Just press it. That's all you got to do. All right. Y'all have a great week, and we'll catch y'all next time. See ya. We do things a little different.